Hey there friends, my name is Alice Turner and I am a doula childbirth educator and I am here to spin the big wheel of birth and find out what topic we are going to talk about today. Let's do it. Okay. Today we're talking about Braxton Hicks. Great follow-up. We have a video, I will put a link here, about the contractions. So I did mention Braxton Hicks in that video, so check that out after this one. Braxton Hicks are, is the name of the contractions that many people feel leading up to real labor. And sometimes people call them false labor, what's true labor, what's false labor. Um, Braxton Hicks contractions, they feel different than real true contractions. Um, so first of all, they feel differently. The Braxton Hicks usually feels like your entire belly, entire uterus is tightening up. And um, sometimes you can feel it start, sometimes you can feel it release. Sometimes people uh, experience painful Braxton Hicks contraction where they're uncomfortable or they've got to stop if they're walking. Um, sometimes they don't even realize they're having Braxton Hicks until you feel the, your uterus and feel like, oh my gosh, it's really hard. I know that I have heard um, people say that, uh, uh, explain Braxton Hicks, like maybe it feels like the baby is balling up inside or the baby's doing a, a big turn in there. Um, a different ways to explain it, but one common way is if you say, if, if I would ask someone having a contraction, where do you feel your contraction? And it's like all over is the answer. That is likely a Braxton Hicks contraction. If you say, oh, under my belly button low, like menstrual cramps or maybe in my back and in the front too, that's more likely a real labor contraction. So Braxton Hicks, People experience them at different points in their pregnancy. They tend to appear in that third trimester, though sometimes some people do notice them earlier. I, as a doula and a childbirth educator, I always recommend if you're having a lot or they feel concerning, definitely talk to your care provider about them. Give them a heads up on how many you're having. Also, sometimes if you're dehydrated, you can have an increase in uterine activity. So increase in those Braxton Hicks or, or real contractions. So if you feel like you're having them on a um, regular basis, please make sure that you are staying hydrated. And I'll put a link below to our video about hydration as well. So Braxton Hicks, they feel differently. Um, they are also different in that true contractions are making a change to the cervix by their contracting. They're thinning it, facing, dilating open. So those true contractions are making changes to, to your cervix. But Braxton Hicks contractions are not making change to your cervix. So it's they're almost like practicing. It's almost like your uterus is getting ready for the big day, tightening, releasing, tightening, releasing. Uh, do not be concerned if you don't feel Braxton and Hicks contractions. Sometimes I've talked to uh, pregnant people that say, I don't think I've had one at all. And that's okay. It's not a necessity of something to go through before labor starts. It's not like uh, first you gotta have your Braxton and Hicks contractions check, and then you have to have your mucus plug check. No, it's different for everyone. So, um, if you might experience it, you might not, you might have some, you might have little, um, but they are different in that, the way that you make them feel, the way that they feel. You will know that they're real contractions if you're feeling them lower, if they have a definite start, peak, and end. If you're not feeling the start, the peak, and the end, they are likely not true contractions, or if they are true contractions, they're so early in labor, that they're not even worth bothering, worrying about right now, or thinking about, or you know, coping through. So, Braxton Hicks contractions are different. They are very normal, and yet they're not. People don't experience them that same amount or the same way uh, every time. So, 
If you would love to see more about the different topics on the big wheel of birth, uh, I will put a link below in the description of the video with a free course. So what we've done with these, all the past videos is organize them into a free course. And so it makes it easier. They also, we've also um, written out all the bullet points for each of the videos so you can get, see the key takeaways and have some dad and partner tips too. So it's free, check it out in the bottom. Also, if you find the video helpful, give us a like and a subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining me today, bye.